Hey everyone, my name's Rachel. I'm a high school math teacher in Georgia and going into my seventh year of teaching. So I thought this would be a good time to kind of make a video, show people how I go about setting up my classroom and make it a fun environment um, during that pre-planning period, everything that I do. So today is a Thursday. We actually were able to open up early. So they gave teachers Thursday and Friday to come in. We actually start pre-planning on Monday. So I was gonna come in and set up a little bit today of like the layout of my classroom and kind of where I want everything to be placed. So luckily this year, coming out of our you know pandemic era, we're pretty much back to normal. Um, we've been lucky enough with where we are in our county. And um, so we're going from this more of hybrid, kind of integrated uh, classroom to really almost fully back to normal with kids fully in, um, being able to have more activities that we're gonna do in our classroom. So I really wanted to change uh, some things of what I do and just how I lay out my classroom. So I thought that'd be the perfect time to kind of take you guys along and show you how I get everything set up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and are able to take some um, ideas back to your classroom for this school year. Here we are, so not too bad. This is my classroom. I think today what I just really wanna do is try and get everything figured out of what I need to kind of fix. So like over here, you can see I had some things fall. Unfortunately, during the school or during the summer, our air gets turned off. And so some things like to just kind of unstick from the wall, from the moisture. But yeah, most everything's good. I'm really just going to change my bulletin boards. I didn't really like having a word wall in the middle here. Just wasn't a fan of it. So I might move some of this stuff over and do more um, SEL type stuff with that back wall and display things I'm doing with my kids that way, like growth mindset. I wanna change how this is right here. So change your words, change your mindset because you can't really see anything that's being spoken there. And then over here, I think today, I'm just really gonna try and get all my stuff set up, like my desk and where I normally put the student center. So first thing I'm probably gonna do is just make um, a list on my board of what I wanna do each day. Normally, this is where my agenda is. And so I'm just gonna use it to kind of block off what I wanna do each day. So. Thursday, Friday here, and then next week is our pre-planning. So I'll kind of even get some ideas of what I wanna do there. But first, I need to get all my car unloaded. So luckily I'm by the bus lane so I can just drive my car up and then bring everything into my classroom. I'll probably just dump it all in the middle and not even worry about it today. And then just try and get my desk set up the way I like. So when I come back on Monday, I'll be able to be a little bit more efficient and not have to worry about setup. I can just dive right into getting my schedule done and everything that I wanna do kind of computer paper wise next week. So yeah. Okay, items are moved in. I just wanna make a brief side note. Super proud of Rachel from last year. I remembered at the end of the year stuff I wanted to do. So I already wrote on the board things I wanted to do and change it for my board. So props to myself last year and the stress of the end of the year. So everything's moved in. As a side note though, most of this stuff was actually put on an Amazon list. So I had like things like lights that I wanted, more calculators, things for my classroom, markers, and all of this I put on an Amazon list and then just posted to uh, my Facebook and sent out to friends and a lot of people bought stuff. So I had almost like 150 things or $150 worth of things. 150 things would be amazing. But that uh, friends and family bought for me. So that was actually really nice. So if you've never done that before, make an Amazon list. They'll buy some things for you. People always wanna know how to support you. So make an Amazon list if you haven't and send it out to people. Um, little tip, save you some money. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down the things I wanna do for today, tomorrow, and Monday, and then work on tackling all the crazy. Okay, I also wanted to show you something, just like throw this in there because I thought this was super cute. So like I said, Amazon list, it's amazing. Anyone can buy from it. So I teach high school. So by the time my kids graduate, I teach freshmen, so it takes a while. But when they graduate, I always tell them they can you know, add me on social media. So a couple of my students actually have social media and they saw my Facebook post. And so whenever somebody buys something off your like gift list or whatever for Amazon, I find it, it's so funny. So whenever they buy something, they can leave a little note so one of my students, for, I taught her her freshman year and she's graduated, she's in college now. She bought two calculators off of it and she left me a little note and it says, hopefully students are prepared to turn in a shoe to borrow a calculator. Okay, 
So super funny. I forgot I did this one year, but I started missing all these calculators because kids had never bought them on their own and they needed these types of calculators to do uh, their homework. So when I had a couple start going missing, I decided it was going to be rule that if they wanted to borrow a calculator, they had to give me a shoe and all the kids complained and they were like, okay, can I give you my phone? Like, that's weird. I don't want to go without a shoe. And I kept saying, no, you can't go and give me a phone because you can walk out of here without a phone. You're not going to walk out of here without a shoe. And so it was this big ordeal and the kids like thought it was the funniest thing, but hated it. And it was so funny because whenever kids forgot to wear socks or something, they would like hop back to their chair and it was just such a big mess. And all of a sudden, what do you know, within a week, my calculators all showed back up. So I'm just saying it works extreme measures, but I can't, I, that was like five years ago and she remembered. And so she bought me calculators and then left me a note that she says, I hope they're prepared to give a shoe. So fun memory, super sweet college kid buying me calculators. Love it. It's amazing. So just want to add that story in there for you. Okay, so not much that I have written down, but this list is gonna grow. So these are the things that I came into my classroom looking at what I wanted to do, just getting my setup done. This is more gonna be the second day where I come in and I just wanna actually start working on my walls and my posters and uh, just like displays. And then this is all stuff that I probably need to do the first day, like ask for permissions of things um, and get some things set up for myself before I get into the rest of the week and have to have all my meetings and plannings. So this list will definitely grow, but I'm hoping to kind of knock off most of this stuff today and segue to tomorrow of just all my decoration so that way it's all set up for the next week with pre-planning when I'm actually here with all my other co-workers. So first thing I actually want to set up this area, this is kind of like what I like to call my break room. So during the pandemic, I was never actually stopping eating to eat lunch. And so what I did is I had a chair here and put all my stuff and kind of made this like little cozy corner. So that way I like forced myself to eat lunch over here, take a break for 15 minutes and uh, kind of just get myself readjusted. So one thing I also did is I had this nice little chair that I'll put over here in just a second. So kids who were like doing really well or scored really high on tests or made big improvements, it was, was an award or a kind of reward for uh, good behavior so kids could kind of hang out. So you'll see once I set it up in just a second, kind of like this little cute nook that I have for myself. Okay, so here we are. Normally I'll have a pillow and kind of like a little blanket draped over here and like a coffee mug and some coffee um, stuff over here, but I haven't really brought that from home yet. So what I'm gonna do now is actually try and just clean everything off of this. I kind of noticed there's like a lot of dust and wax actually that got spread out over here when they wax the floors. So I think what I'm gonna do next is just wipe all of this stuff off, put it kind of where it belongs a little bit, and then try and clean the counter and kind of evaluate everything that's going on behind there and then set up my desk for the day. work on a little bit this year. This is my math is cool corner. So this has a lot of different uh, games and things that are kind of related to math. I have a lot of like little block puzzles over here, um, some card games in here, some different books where there's like little puzzles, some like wooden block puzzles and Towers of Hanoi and chess. So this is where students can come and they can just uh, 
you know, grab something at the end of class, like if there's, they're done with the test or if they're done with their work and they have somebody they wanna play a game with. I have some other things here that kind of keep them off their phones and kind of keep them a little bit engaged in more of like a logical reasoning type mindset. So this is my math is cool corner. So over here is where I wanna set up my student center. So I have some um, tables and things I'm gonna put over here for resources for students. Ignore, you probably see these all throughout my classroom, these little like black strips. I used to have a 360 classroom before COVID hit where kids would have an individual whiteboard and so this is all just residual residue from markers and like the marker dust when they were erasing. So can't really do anything about it. I was hoping they would paint our classrooms over the summer, but a little stuck with that. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my student center. And then at the end, I think today is when I'm going to finally hit the desk. So student center is next. Okay, so this is pretty basic right now just because I don't have a lot of ideas of what I'm gonna do here. I had an old student center, kind of like a white block thing. And I'm not sure how much of that I wanna bring over here or leave on the other side of my room. Um, but this little area, this is where students pick up anything for the day, um, any packets that they might have. It's really close to the missed a day calendar that I have over here. So if they missed a day, they can grab their stuff here and then pick up new stuff for the day. This is where tardy slips or uh, other teacher passes go. We have to keep a log of those. We did that especially with COVID last year. I'm not sure how much that's going to be a thing this year, but I have that for their uh, tickets if they come in late or tardy. And then over here, just simple things, um, tissues. I usually have a thing of paper towels as well, but I'm completely out. I have that on my wish list this year, some more paper towels. I usually put that there. And then I'm also needing another pencil sharpener. So I don't have one, but that usually is actually sitting right here in this block. Um, and then I'm not quite sure because I got a lot of stuff off my teacher list. I used to have these little um, individual boxes of colored pencils and markers. So one for each color, but I got this new marker set here that keeps everything separated. And I asked for a pencil set as well. So I think I'm just going to slide both of those in there and not try and mix the colors, just keep it separated crayons. And then I'm not sure exactly what I'll put here. I'm kind of debating, but I do like that there with it. And the bottom is where I'll probably end up putting their whiteboard. So we do a lot of whiteboard activities. So they have clipboards for around the rooms. And then this is where I'll probably keep the whiteboards for those activities. Okay, so this is the base layout. It's a little messy, uh, but no one really sees behind here besides me. So I'm going to unpack all my boxes and put away all my folders over on this side that all pretty much goes here, set up my computer here and then hook it all up. And then that should be it for my desk. Everything else is pretty much in place where I want it from last year. And so I'm just gonna put everything back where it belongs. This is my setup. Uh, most of it's tucked away because I like to have what I'm working on, like my uh, agenda, my kind of to-do list, and then keys and stuff right here as I'm teaching. Since I'm literally right by the board here, it's just kind of nice, especially with math, to have just all my notes here. So this is my setup. It looks a little crazy because it's a little cluttered in the background, uh, but over here, this is just my desk setup. Now, last year with COVID, I did have like a large monitor right here. So I had a two screen to make life easier. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring that second monitor back, uh, but that's normally where it goes. I had a monitor here and then my laptop hooked up here. This is where all my stuff is stored that I am teaching. So I have this little... Um, Kind of like paper sorter it holds like my sub binder um any important information emergency stuff like that and then just 
honestly random things like if i'm collecting data this is a lot of data and 504 stuff that i just keep tucked in there i do a lot of around the rooms and i like them on colored paper so i always keep this stock to colored paper this is where i kept my laminating sheets i think i'm just going to keep computer paper here instead and i have my laminating sheets down here so if you look i have basically everything for the entire semester i do have unit one at home i'm just all algebra um for the past couple years so i have these by unit so you unit two, three, these are both four. They've ch changed up our units this year, but four is quadratics. And so that's the bulk. This is all the solving and stuff. Um, and then we have all of these binders. I need to label them. I really changed it this year. So before I would use these little things here and I would just keep all my manipulatives and things like that for activities in here. So you can see, I still have some from uh, quadratics because they're literally overflowing. I have more for quadratics still in here. But what I've done is I've taken these binders and I just have these whole paper sheet like little slips that are zips right here. And so it's easy for me to kind of see what I'm working with. So that way I can also have like all my system stuff. So this is a systems practice. This is another types of system activity that I have. Um, this is like slope. This is sequences and all of that stuff here. Some more um, functions, other function stuff. So it really gets big when I have a larger unit. I have a couple years worth of activities. Uh, so that way I don't forget about them. I just keep all the associated ones together. And I kind of like that because I can see them all at one time. Whereas in here, it was a little crazy. As I started teaching a subject more and more, I had different activities from the different year that I didn't want to have to reprint or relaminate. So like these are these little task cards, they're little dominoes. Um, and I laminated them and I don't want to get rid of that. So even though I might not use it that year, and I have so many because I do them in pairs of two usually. So for this, it just kind of got a little out of control and I didn't really remember what I had where um or how many activities i had on a topic so this has worked out a lot better just putting all of them in here it really this one is super big from um my unit one because i did this over the summer so unit one i have polynomials uh, adding subtracting polynomials i've got radical stuff so see i have some simplifying here i have adding and subtracting and then for me, I make a couple different sets of the task cards around the rooms. And I tell students like 10 of you are going to be on the green cards. Eight of you are going to be on the pink cards to kind of keep them separated and from going to their friend's side of the room. So that's what these are. This was, these are just on Amazon um, where I got those. And I just got these super big binders and that's what these are. I just need to go through and label, you know, what unit they're from. So this is just some extra stuff from trainings we've had throughout the year. Um, I just reuse these folders over and over again. I like to do a lot of escape rooms. And so you can see these are the different levels where they can go grab their cards from. This is all my end of course teaching material. And this is where I put the laminating sheets and then my laminator. These are binding papers. I actually bought a binding machine this year to make booklets for cross country. Um, so I was gonna keep all of that stuff down here. So this is stuff that I just basically need on the daily when I'm like trying to plan, uh, map out stuff. I have all my resources here. So this is all my notes, classwork, uh, handouts and stuff. And then these are all the activities for around the room. Okay, so I think I am officially done for the day. I am pulling out of the school now. So basically all I wanted to do was get my desk and all the furniture set up, get my kind of counter cleared out and all of the physical objects organized. So tomorrow I'll probably come back and just do the displays, get all my bulletin boards and those kind of wall decorations set up. Um, and then that way Monday I can kind of take you guys through what I actually do planning wise for pre-planning, not the meetings, cause that would be super boring if you were in on those, but just how I get myself set up, the different manipulatives and things I even use for the first day of school to kind of get kids engaged and how I go about organizing all my rosters and the 120 kids that I have. So yeah, good first day. Definitely a little sweaty, a little disheveled from moving all the furniture, but hopefully it'll be a little bit easier and smooth sailing from here. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for some more videos about how I get set up for the first week of school.